Okay, that's the call from Otis that I apparently always miss, so hopefully I'll get transmissionary. Um, just to fill you in, I just cut ahead because there were five in-game hours um, of absolutely nothing to do. And if you think about it, there are, what, two hours to one day in Dead Rising, so that's two hours to 24 hours, which is one hour to 12 hours. And then if there's 60 minutes in... Well, it's like 25 minutes of real time, anyway. That can't be good. It's just a good example What's of the game's on, poor anyway? pacing, is that you have to Before stand there for 25 started, minutes staring at a door. And told him to come to this mall. Jack the line, did you? So was this the caller, this guy here? They've got something to do with the zombies, don't they? They're the reason we came here. And if he gets away with Dr. Barnaby, none of our questions will be answered. What are you waiting for, fool? Follow Samuel L. Jackson! Oh yeah, now I'm off for the save. I honestly don't get what would have been so difficult about putting an option in that just lets you skip ahead to the next bit. And you guys didn't have to suffer through it, but it was literally 25 minutes staring at a door. And if I'd have recorded that, that'd have been two and a half parts of nothing. <laughs> this is Otis telling us the uh, cage between the entrance plaza and paradise plaza is now open. Which is a handy shortcut for the uh, rest of the game. So again, really you should probably do up to at least this case just to get that open. Loading, loading, loading. Now oh, come on, you're installed to the hard drive, hurry up. Yeah, I thought installing games to the hard drive was supposed to cut loading times on the 360. Jesus, what is up with this thing? Usually does it faster than that. Oh, here we go. That's right, Jackson took you down. We're back with Carlito again. Still being a douche. Pachamama. Remember that word, Pachamama. That becomes important later. Now, day two, you're quite tight for time the entire way through. Well, at least I always find myself tight for time the entirety of day two. So, um... I'm gonna take care of all these psychos quick. Now, did Carlito just save them technically by shooting the head off that zombie? If we don't do something, the professor's gonna end up zombie child. Of course, if this was a real zombie apocalypse, that would have um, just sprayed zombie blood all over Frank's alive. mouth and would have probably got him infected. Knowledge you learn from reading the zombie survival guide, that. Alright, let's just take care of Carlito pretty quick. His sniper bullets really hurt if you get hit by one. Um, but if you can... If you either have the 
submachine gun, the mega blaster, or the mini chainsaws, you can deal with him really quickly. If you can get up close with the mini chainsaws, he's down in seconds. Fuck you, Omega Man! I take down your comrade! <laughs> and Frank can't shoot for shit. He's unconscious, but alive. Ah, damn! Are you all right? Yeah, but I'm not in any condition to carry him. Can you get him back to the security room? And you see, the first time he said that, I thought, great, I'm gonna have to run back to the security room, carrying an unconscious old man, while having a crippled Brad hoppling behind me. But thankfully, the game is merciful and just cuts straight to the security room. Oh my God. That would have been one frustrating bit of gameplay right there. And can you imagine it, trying to get through the hordes with Barnaby on your back and Brad hoppling along like that? <laughs> no thanks. The sedative's taken effect. The professor won't be waking up anytime soon. Why give him a sedative? He was already unconscious. That makes no sense. I managed to stop the bleeding. But he's running a fever. He needs medicine. Okay, what type of medicine? Medicine, huh? Yeah, what type of medicine? Okay, now here's something silly, right? We need medicine to help him after him getting his gun wound. But at no point do they say which kind of medicine to get. Now, I'm literally going to run to the pharmacy. Uh, there'll be a psychopath on the way. Well, there'll be a psychopath in the supermarket. But, you don't know what you're grabbing. Last I checked, Frank wasn't a doctor. Yeah, I don't know. Also, you'd think they'd have some kind of first aid kit in the security room. Oh, come on! Bloody zombies. But that guy wasn't even anywhere near me. Wow, I am in an itchy mood today. It's probably because I had to wait for 20... No, I'm not going to go into it again. Happy thoughts. Yes, there is a reason for taking a photo of the air duct. Skate back across the park, straight to North Plaza. You see, there are a couple of routes you can take to get there. I don't think any are particularly faster than the other. You can either do what I'm doing, which is to skate straight across the park and then just run to the supermarket once you get in the North Plaza. Uh, you can use the maintenance tunnel key I got earlier to go underground, grab a car and drive there through the underground maintenance tunnels. Or... You can um, take the shortcut from Paradise Plaza to Wonderland Plaza through the toilets and then run from the toilets in Wonderland Plaza to the supermarket in North Plaza. And I've done it all three ways before and none of them seem to make much of a difference on how long it takes, so just take your pick, really. I think this route's handy because you can just jump up on here and run straight past all the zombies. And 
tomorrow on Sam's State Sea Obvious.